guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my Project Ten Pan update number one. So my first update since the introduction. I filmed my introduction really early. I only posted it a couple weeks ago, but I just wanted to remind you guys that I filmed it on September 17th. Today is October 29th. So there's been a lot more time that's passed in my project than has since the video was posted. So if you're wondering how I used up so much stuff in just a couple weeks, it's because it hasn't been way more than a couple weeks. It's been about six weeks actually. So anyway, with that being said, let's get started. So the first item I have is my Clinique Honey or Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. This is a deluxe sample I got as a gift with purchase. And I've been carrying this around with me. Right now I'm rotating in the hospital. So I don't like wearing too much makeup. I feel a little weird being too done up in the hospital just because most people don't wear a lot of makeup in that setting. So this has been the perfect thing to carry in my pocket. I don't have a purse or a bag or anything. There's very limited space for us to keep stuff in during the day um, where I am. So I basically have just been stuffing the pockets of my white coat and it's worked out really great. I wish I could wear a white coat everywhere. It's really handy to have really giant pockets. But anyway, I've been carrying this in the pockets and applying it. Um, it just gives a very sheer wash of color and it's very moisturizing. So it's very perfect for kind of a more minimal lip color. So this is where I am right now. And then this is how far I've come. So it's not quite half. I didn't do a great job of drawing this line. I think it's a little bit higher than that line. But it's about a third, I would say. Between a third and a half. Maybe a little more than a third. So I definitely am confident that I'll be able to finish this by the end of this project. And that is at the end of 2015. Next I have a blush from the How About Them Apples palette from The Balm. And my goal was to hit pan on this blush. And I reached that goal. This is Caramel. And I've been wearing this a ton. And I did hit pan on it. I was actually surprised. Um, I was using my stipple brush. So I didn't think I was going to hit pan until I started using my finger. But then one day all of a sudden I could see all these little tiny specks of pan. So that was really exciting. But I have kind of switched over to using my finger. I kind of go back and forth on how I feel. Um, if I use a beauty blender I usually use my finger and kind of put it right here and then blend it out with the blender. But some days I've been using my fingers to apply my <laughs> Some days I've been using my fingers to apply my foundation, so then I've been using the stipple brush. So it kind of depends what mood I'm in and how I have um, applied my foundation. So I really like this. It goes really well with a lot of my favorite fall blushes, like NARS Liberté and Clinique Ginger Pop. So I usually will layer this under one of those, um, but sometimes I do just wear it on its own. So I did reach my goal for this, but I am going to continue to use it and just see how far I can get by the end of the year, because I would really love to use up this entire palette at some point. Next I have a little mini loose powder from Laura Mercier and this is the Universal Loose Setting Powder. I had someone ask me where I got these and their account was set on private so I couldn't respond but I left a comment in case they came back to check. But I just wanted to let you guys know where I got it in case anyone else was wondering. I got this as a gift with purchase on Birchbox.com uh, when I ordered some things from Laura Mercier about a year ago in December. So. That's where I got this, and my other mini powder was from Ipsy, or, yeah, Ipsy. So they've all been, like, free little gift with purchase sample type things. But anyway, I've been using this quite a bit, almost every day, but I did have a, um, a pressed powder in my Finish 15, so I use that some days as well. But I'm about halfway, a little over halfway done, because this thing was full. So you can see where I drew the line on there, and I'm pretty pleased with my progress, and I definitely think I'll be able to finish this by the end of the year as well. Alright, so here is one of my more ambitious items, and this is the Pewter Eyeshadow from Smashbox. And I chose this because I had lost my favorite eyeshadow from Urban Decay, which is Pistol. And this is, it's not quite a dupe, but it's pretty close, and so I kind of wanted to hit pan on this and use it up before I let myself repurchase Pistol. But I'll tell you what happened there um, in a minute, but this is my usage on this. I didn't use it a ton because I am trying to pan my Lorac Pro, but there were a few days I used it, and there is like... You can definitely tell it's been used. There's not really a dip, but it's a little, a slight dip, so you can kind of see that. It's kind of similar to the Lorac. When I put my brush in it, a lot of product comes out, so um, that is a swatch right there if you want to see that. But I also wanted to mention that I did get my 
pistol back. Um, so the story was that I had ordered some Urban Decay shadows for my birthday and the day they came I had swatched them along with pistol here in my room and then two days later I realized pistol was missing and I freaked out. I tore this room apart multiple times. I was going crazy. And then last weekend I went home for the weekend and I walked into my old room and what was sitting on the desk but my Urban Decay single of pistol. So I was really excited to have it back, but I also felt even more crazy because I have such a vivid memory of swatching pistol next to the shades that I purchased on my birthday. But that's impossible because I left my parents' house on my birthday the day I ordered the shadows, had them shipped to where I live now, and swatched them a week later. So it was never here. And so I feel better. I still feel a little crazy like I'm going insane, but it's definitely... I'm happy to have Pestle back because I prefer the formula of that shadow to this and the shade. It's a little bit different. So I'm not sure if I want to continue trying to pan this since I do have the other one back. That was kind of the whole reason I decided to pan this. On the other hand, I would like to make a dent in this palette. It is my oldest palette. So I haven't decided yet, but by my next update, I'll let you guys know if I'm going to swap a different item into this project or if I'm going to continue to try to hit pan on this shadow. The next item I haven't used at all yet because I still have my foundation from my Project Tempan number 4 going. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. I am filming this video a couple days before my finished 15 by Halloween technically ends and my Project Tempan number 4 I guess. So the foundation that was in that project is the Laura Mercier. It's almost gone. When I shake it up I can tell there's barely anything in here so I'll just keep you guys updated on my progress in these videos now. I'll kind of add it as a bonus to this project and I'm pretty sure I'll be gone by the next update anyway so just thought I would let you guys know um, how that was going. Then I had two little mini polishes. Um, this one is How Great Is Your Dane and when I started it was up here. Now it's down to here. I think you can kind of see that there. So that's my progress on this. I've worn it on both my fingers and my toes. I really like it in the fall and I think just a few more applications will probably be gone. Then this one, I don't know if you can see the line. I can barely see the line, but I think I started right about here and now it's right about here. It's really hard to see because it's such a dark shade, but I am pretty confident about that item as well. Sorry if my voice is a little raspy. I'm getting sick and sorry if it's dark. Um, it's almost six o'clock and it's getting dark, but I filmed a bunch of videos yesterday. My husband is coming into town this weekend. He's back. I'm really excited to see him, so I'm not going to spend, you know, any time filming videos while he's here. I want to hang out with him. So yesterday I filmed a bunch of videos. I filmed this video already, and I was sitting, you know, back here using my regular camera, and it started out really great, and then it got darker and darker and darker and darker, and by the end the footage was unusable. So I'm refilming today. So also I wanted to say that because some of my products have been shaken up a little bit because I've been sitting in this box over here instead of up like this. So I'll show you this one. Um, this is my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and I usually have been storing it like this, so this is the progress I've made from here to here. And I'm pretty impressed with the progress on this because I feel like I use such, you only need a tiny amount when you use it, and I haven't been using it every day. I've been going back and forth between this and my other highlighter that's in my Pan That Palette project. And sorry if I'm talking really fast. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to run out of space on my phone to film this. So I think I've kind of been overcompensating and rant or going really fast. So I'll try to slow down. But um, yeah, so that's my progress on here. I just use this as a face highlighter. I put it right here, down my nose, on my forehead, sometimes a little bit on my chin and my upper lip. And I really, really love it. It's very subtle. It's great for every day. And um, I would repurchase it someday, at least at this point. Oh, I also wanted to mention, I don't know if you can see, if my hands look really dirty or weird, it's because I had a pen explode on them today and I still have ink kind of all over them. You can kind of see it right there. I'm going to work on getting that out, but I wanted to film this before it got any darker. So you can already tell it's kind of dark. So sorry if I'm rushing. I don't know. I feel crazy today. Anyway, this is the Clinique Intense... Quick Liner for Eyes Intense and Intense Plum. And I put this in this project. I was going to use it with Pewter and Mauve and kind of the purplier shades in the Lark Pro. And then, like, as soon as I started this project, I lost all interest in wearing those colors. And I've been wearing Nude and Light Bronze and Garnet a lot more. So I haven't made a ton of progress, but you can see there. This one, you push it up. So I have, you know, this much left. And I 
like this far. So I'm going to be going back to wearing those shades again soon. I have used it a few times. I like to set it with deep purple because I prefer the purple color of that. This one's actually, I mean, when I think of plum, I kind of think of a warmer shade, but this one is kind of more like the color of an actual plum, I guess. I don't know why, but um, you can kind of see there's like a more of a blue reflect, so it's more purple to me than plum, but... Um, I think the deep purple shade goes better with Peter and all those things, so I usually set it with that, and then it's a great way to get some more use out of deep purple, because even though my goal was only to hit paint on deep purple, I do want to finish it someday, so I can have that whole palette be empty, so that is my plan for that. Next I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I've been wearing this every single day. Um, I'm not going to roll it out because yesterday I did that and for a second I thought I broke it and it wouldn't go back down. So I don't want to risk that again. So I'll just show you on the card. I started up here and now I'm down to here. So I don't know if I'll quite make it to, to finish it by the end of the year unless I decide to start, you know, drawing on some pretty bold brows. But I just want to continue to use it because I have a ton of brow products. I don't know how all of a sudden that little area of my collection exploded. I think because I knew I didn't have a ton. So when I was abroad, I bought two brow products because I was like, oh, it won't be that bad. I don't have a ton of brow products, but now I just have a lot. So I want to start to get through them. Sorry if the angle changed. I just knocked my phone off of the window ledge that I'm filming on. And I'm hoping this isn't going to be too dark of footage to use, but Anyway, my last item, this also got shooken up because it was in um, my bag, but this is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in the shade Magic. It's a little mini size. I got this on Black Friday last year from Sephora. And so this is where I started, and that's where I am now. I really haven't worn it too much. They're releasing a ton of product in here, though, so you can see the difference. And, you know, I think if I start carrying this with me more and wear it more, I'll definitely be able to get through it. But it's not my first choice of lip products. When I reach into my bag, I carry, like, about three different things in here. I have my NARS Wakugian. Usually I have my Black Honey. And then I have this. And then I usually keep this in my bag all, all times. But, you know, this month I'm going to be at the hospital and I keep stuff in my pocket. I don't know if I really want to wear lip gloss at the hospital. We'll see. Um, but hopefully I can finish it at some point. And I think even if I don't use it this month and I start using it in December, I'll be able to get through it. Alright, so that is everything on my Project 10 Pan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope your projects are going well and I will see you soon. Bye!